Tati. Good morning, Caramelians, followers, haters in the bushes. Hello. Good morning. It's me, she, her. We're here. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oof. Y'all, happy Friday. Happy Friday. I ain't never been so happy to say happy Friday, y'all. Good God. Oh. This has been a week. Seems like this week been kind of long, too, for some odd reason. This week feels like it's been kind of long. But nevertheless, we are happy that it's Friday, honey. Yes, we are. So thank y'all for being here. Thank you for joining this morning. Hopefully you got your coffee and your tea and got where you need to be. Good morning. I see y'all coming in. Good morning. Good morning. Let's see. Get ready to stop. I might be able to do some shout outs right quick. Let's do some shout outs while we stopping right quick. Let's see who we got. Yvette Bell, Barbara, Monica, Taylor, Linda Gamble, Tawana, Sonia. Good morning, Miss Lady. Good morning, uh, Ann Green, C. Lewis, Veronica Monroe, uh, B.C. Jones, Sabrina, Sonia, Artrell Palmer, Siobhan Foster, Lizzie Wheeler, uh, Frederick Phillips, uh, M.Z. Who is it? G. Mitz. I'm sorry. I hope I said that right. ZZ, Laverne, Sonia. I said everybody rolls. Okay, we're rolling. We're rolling. All right. We got a few people in. We got a few people in. Hopefully, you guys are having a great morning. Yes, honey. Yes, yes, yes. Blessed and not stressed. That's how we do it over here. All right. Thank you, guys. Please hit the like button as you enter because that lets me know that you are on my porch. All right. Yes, let lets me know you in the house. You rang the doorbell. Can't can't be on the porch and don't ring the doorbell. That's stalking. That's what people in the bushes be doing. Hiding in the bushes looking and listening. But anywho, nevertheless, we, we still love y'all in the bushes too, child. Everybody needs love. So we're gonna still give the people in the bushes some love too. It's all good. Okay? It's all good in the hood. Caramel Baptist Church, honey, invites all members, honey. <laughs> We take all members over here. Okay, the Lord said, come as you are, honey. So we take all members over here at the Caramel Real Baptist Church. All right. Ooh, child. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and do the disclaimer. Everything said in the video is a legend in my very own opinion and is used for fair use and entertainment, okay? Yes, honey, so we got to get that out there because, baby, some of the stuff we be talking about over here, folk be getting in their feelings. Um, we know some folks trying to um, trying to take the content creators up out of here, honey. But we ain't. We shall not be moved. Okay. We shall not be moved from the internet. We will keep these streets hot with this tea out here. Okay. I don't care what they say. The Scots, the Scots out here trying to be scotting and getting people up out of here. That's what the streets is telling me. The streets is telling me that the Scots, honey, is trying to get the content creators out of here because they don't want us talking. We're making the streets a little too hot for them out here. They can't be doing their crime in peace out here. So we're making them a little nervous is what it sounded like. So, yeah, we, we got to keep our feet on their neck. Now, over here on this channel, I keep a foot on your neck and one up your ass. That's how we roll over here. We keep a foot on your neck and the other foot up your ass. That's a lot of feet. And I wear a size nine over here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let's move on, child. Uh, celebrity news is first. All right. <laughs> I'm about ready to get started. Lord. Oh, this seems like this is going to be a petty morning, Lord. This, this might be a petty morning, Lord. Trigger warning. All right. Let me give a trigger warning out, honey. Because I don't know. I'm feeling the petty. I'm feeling it. I'm, I ain't even mean to turn on Pettyville Avenue this morning. I ain't mean to turn there. But I feel myself on Pettyville Avenue. So, whoo, child. Mm. Get on through this light, Lord. Um, but let's go ahead. Celebrity news is first. So let's go ahead and get started on that. All right. Uh, we are getting some rain here. I told y'all we've been having thunderstorms here, child. Lord, and we got thunderstorms again today. So uh, let me go ahead and announce Car Chronicles. I mean, not Car Chronicles, but, but Dragiversary, you guys know, has been pushed to Saturday. All right. So we will do Dragiversary on this Saturday. We had to postpone it. So we moved it to Saturday. For those of you that were wondering, I did send out a notice, which I told you guys I would do, all right, if we decided not to do it. So we got all these damn storms coming up and through here. I don't like to be on my system 
when that's going on thunder and lightning and stuff it's not that serious for me to be trying to hop on there and be doing no damn video when all that shit is going on all right honey let the lord do his good work and i'm gonna go somewhere and sit my ass down and we'll postpone that thing all right but uh, uh moving on honey moving on all right so first person we want to talk about y'all in celebrity news is kevin hunter wendy wendy williams uh ex-husband all right y'all know who he is we've talked about him a few times here on this channel um he um of course y'all know he cheated let me give y'all a little backlog for those of you honey y'all spaceship just landed last night let me go ahead and catch y'all up y'all know uh wendy williams ex-husband honey cheated on her for over 10 years with his side chick uh and even when as far as having a whole baby a baby girl with this side chick while he was you know still married to wendy and was still spending wendy's money and and you know supporting this side chick the whole nine all right turn around and suing her for alimony and all this other stuff after wendy got sick of his mess and decided to divorce him all right and now now it's said honey that he is trying to reconcile with wendy I said, I knew this shit was going to try to happen, child. As soon as they get down and out, that's what happens. They want to come back home. Martell did the same bullshit, too. What's up with these men? They feel like they can be out here and finagling and doing what they want to do. And as soon as the shit hit the uh, fan, and it's looking like they ain't going to make it out here, and they are uh, looking emaciated in the neck area, they want to be coming back home when they start to lose everything. Okay? Mm-hmm. So he's trying to reconcile. He's asking Wendy to give him another chance now he's trying to act like he's so concerned about wendy y'all know wendy's sick she got a lot of stuff going on with her she's still battling alcoholism and some other health um and medical situations out here so he's he's trying to act like he's just so you know trying to help wendy you know he's he's wendy's cheerleader now he's ready to come on back home and wendy she just she's like yeah no yeah no and y'all know he most recently, um, he had to sell his house, cars, and other possessions after his alimony payments from Wendy stopped, okay? Um, and, you know, of course, y'all know it was after the divorce or whatever. So, since his alimony payments were stopped, y'all know his side chick, Sharina, who he had the baby with, she done up and moved out, took the baby and then left. She's on her own. The money ain't there, so she is out. Y'all know she moved out and left him. So, now that he's feeling the crunch of his new life of being broke, busted, and disgusted. He's trying to double back, honey, and, and spend the block and try to be back with Wendy because that's where the money and the lifestyle resides, okay? He ain't slick. He ain't slick. I said, oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Now, Kevin is said to be, like I said, begging Wendy to come back and professing his love for her. And like I said, she's refusing. And her son, Wendy's son, which is named Kevin Jr., named after Kevin, he does not want Kevin even around his mother because of the way he's treated Wendy during the time that they were married. Now, he's seen a lot. This is that same son who punched Kevin in the face for disrespecting Wendy. Now, he loves his mama. He loves his mama. And he's been taken up for his mama. And he punched his own dad in the face, all right, for disrespecting Wendy with that old side chick and i don't even like the kids disrespecting their parents but this this sucker this sucker here deserved that punch in the face and i gotta just say that i'm not for kids putting their hands on their parents but in that situation he deserved that he totally deserved that for real oh yeah he punched the hell out of him and the police was called but then he decided he didn't want to press charges on his son okay good for him but his ass he, you still had that punch he punched the hell out of his ass, and that's what his ass get, old Ninja Turtle head. Um, but Kevin, honey, has been telling Wendy that her current management does not have her best interest at heart and that he feels that he should be there again to help take care of her and her affairs like he used to. Because y'all know when he and Wendy were married, he was like working with her at the Wendy Williams show. He was kind of calling some shots and everything. So now he feels that he should be the one there to help Wendy, you know, with what's going on with her. Because she was talking about trying to start a podcast to kind of get herself back out there. But I don't think that's going to go too well for her right now. Because really, Wendy is not ready to be back out there just yet. She's still dealing with alcoholism. She's still back and forth to like rehabs or whatever. And her health is really not as good. I mean, hell, the last time I saw a video of Wendy, she could barely walk. 
Wendy could barely walk, so she always has like security or somebody with her, uh, kind of helping her around because she just she she just not she can't be on her own. She doesn't even have um, so she doesn't even have control over her accounts, like her bank accounts. She don't even have control over that stuff anymore. So she's just in that bad type of space to where she's just not independent like she used to be, and he's kind of trying to come back and and play on that on the fact that she's not well enough to be on her own and he thinks that he's that is in his best interest now to try to come back because he feels like nobody else cares about her but him and i said that's a manipulation for your ass right there all right so since wendy's health has declined her son has moved back to be closer to her okay her son has moved back to be closer to her kevin jr um to kind of help her with her affairs and kind of help her out all right because she has been kind of sneaking like they were saying and taking some drinks again which is very dangerous to her health right now so he's been trying to help her focus on staying away from the bottle because wendy helen she's been oh lord prayers for her last time i saw wendy she looked really bad she looked out of it yeah so like i said kevin honey he's broke busted and disgusted and he's um He's mistreated Wendy for years, and I, she's in her right mind enough to be able to tell him, no, she's not trying to be back with him, and I totally respect that, all right? So, all this money you done spent on Sharina after all these years flying her ass all over the country and on that baby, he even went as far as buying a house with Wendy's money now, down the street from Wendy for the side chick. He bought a car, a Maserati. For the side chick with Wendy's money, which Wendy went and had that car repossessed. All right. Had the tow truck. I saw the pictures. I think I posted it on my social media where Wendy went and had the um, Maserati repossessed while the side chick, honey, was out and about. She was out and about shopping or something. And Wendy had that car followed and the tow truck came and towed the hell out of that car. And Kevin was mad as hell. Mad as hell. But all the shit he put her through i don't blame her for telling him hell no you ain't coming back here and that's how you gotta be don't go back through that mess when you get delivered from mess like that don't go back to that mess women you can do better by yourself you can do better by yourself they always want to come back when they see you making it and they they down and out and they don't see no way out now all of a sudden they back in love he ain't thought nothing about wendy for 10 years you stuck up sharina's ass running around doing everything he was big and bad enough to do now all of a sudden you done lost everything and you got this newfound love for her and i call bullshit but shout out to wendy and prayers for her honey through this difficult time that she's going through and keep telling him no don't let his ass come back he don't deserve it moving on honey moving on honey candy birds honey was asked a question in an interview most recent interview that she did would she be um, who would be her ideal cast for Real Housewives of Atlanta? Um, and she went on to say that she would definitely add Portia back on the show because she does bring something, according to her. And she also says that um, that she would also have Nene back regardless to what Nene had to say about her in the Carlos King interview, all right? Because she said Nene always has so much to say, which she does. Y'all know that Nene, honey. Nene is something else. Nene, honey, in that mouth, she, she's a narc to her heart. But you got to give it to her. She did keep them ratings up. She did keep the people watching, okay? But unfortunate for her, or unfortunately for her, rather, um, Andy Cohen and Bravo Network, honey, NBC and all them, they not checking for her ass, all right? When you, when you, when you try to sue your boss, yeah, you lose your job. Usually that's how that shit works. When you come after your boss and try to bring down a whole network, you kind of gonna lose your job and they're not gonna fool with your ass no more after that and don't matter how many times you apologize they just not seeing it for you so it's so unfortunate for nene um i have a love hate relationship with nene sometimes i like nene sometimes i don't sometimes she just be doing the absolute most okay she does but you got to give her her flowers and you got to give her, her recognition and her clout baby let her know listen you do bring the ratings but i need you to tone it down Claudia Jordan said it on her show over there too as well. Um, you know, she said when she worked with Nene, Nene was very, very rude. And she let the fame get to her head. You got you can't be that way because then you stick your own foot up your ass that way and you, you close doors that should be open for you. And now you she she don't have any open businesses now. And it's so sad. 
that she, I mean, no network really don't want to fool with her because she's kind of, they kind of, I guess, blacklisted her ass. But I don't know. Like I said, Carlos King, he, he's fooling with her for some type of reason. I feel like he's cooking up something behind the scenes. And I said it before that he might be trying to get her back on television. And that would be a great thing because people do want to see her. Okay. Um, so, like I said, it's no secret that, that Nene and Candy have had some spats back and forth. Um, on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Y'all know y'all know they had some words at the reunion when Nene said something about Mama Joyce and they had words back and forth sitting there where Nene said, I said what I said. Y'all remember that. And Candy said, and I think that's some bullshit what you y'all know she said that. I was like, Lord, these two right here. These two right here. And then y'all know Candy went into that whole crying thing. That's gotta help up what you said about my mama. And I was like, Lord God, here we go. I already knew the tears would come with Candy, baby. Anytime you get to going back and forth with Candy, she going to buck up on you, and then she going to cry a little bit. She going to cry a little bit, and then she going to fight a little bit. I'm like, baby, listen, I need you to pick one, all right? Because you have scared me at first when you were bucking up. You have scared me at first. Then you turn around and started crying, and then I won't scare no more. That's how I was feeling. I can't be, I can't be scared of you when you crying. <laughs> Let me stop. That was so damn petty. Candy be crying. <laughs> Candy be crying. She will cry in a minute. I'm like, girl, stop all this damn crying on TV now. But damn. Oh, I'm not a crier. And if I ever get to the point where I am mad and I do start crying, I'm about to F some ish up. Like, for real. The Leo in me and then some of y'all in my chat, y'all probably the same way. If you ever get so mad to where you, to where you see tears coming, you about to F something up. Or somebody up for real. That's how I am. Not a crier, but bitch, if I do start crying, I'm I'm about to. Ooh Lord, snap off. That's what I call it. It's gonna be a snap off. But <laughs> shout, out. shout out to you, Candy Berries, honey. I love me some candy sometimes. All right, just don't start singing. Don't sing. Long as you're not saying candy, I love you. No, and no shade to you, Candy, because you a whole boss out here in these streets, baby. Just don't start saying, all right? I fly above all the haters. I, I fly above. I, I fly above. I, I fly above. It's beneath me. It's beneath me. That's for you, Candy. Love you, Candy Burst. <laughs> Y'all know that was a song on the show. <laughs> Candy said she had some haters, girl. She made, some, she made a song about her haters, honey. Said she fly above them. I, I respect the girl. <laughs> She said, it's beneath me. I was like, oh, that's too much bravo, bravado right there, girl. That's a little bit too much bravado for me right there in that area. Take some of that bravado up out of that me. It was giving Billy Goat, all right? It was giving Billy Goat. Remember all of <laughs> Shit. Woo, child, the Billy Goat was upon you. The spirit of Billy Goat. Let me get that spirit of Billy Goat about your throat. <laughs> Come on out of there, spirit of Billy Goat. Yes, Lord. Come on out of there. All right, let's move on, child. <laughs> I ain't fooling with y'all this morning. <laughs> we had to rebuke the spirit of Billy Goat in your throat. All right. <laughs> Damn. What well, child? Uh, <laughs> I'm tripping, y'all. I told y'all I'm in petty. I'm in petty mode this morning. <laughs> oh, I'm cracking myself up. All right. Move right along, child. All right, so Courtney, Courtney Rhodes, all right? If y'all been watching Real Housewives of Atlanta, there's a new chick on there. She's like a friend to the show. Uh, Courtney Rhodes is what her name is, all right? She's a pretty girl. She's married, well, not married to. She's dating Bryce Wilson from the group. Um, what's the name of that damn group? Oh, 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 oh. Y'all remember the group where uh, he was with the girl where they were singing the song, Tell Me? Tell me if you want me to. No, let's start over, cause y'all probably don't know the song right there. Was it? I've been doing my own thing. Uh, y'all know the song, Bryce Wilson. Y'all know. Having my own. Shit, why I can't remember the words? And I'm a words person too. But in my great surprise, every time I looked in your eyes. Y'all know the song. Groove Theory. Thank you. Thank y'all for putting it in there. Groove Theory. So she's with old boy from Groove Theory. And that threw me completely off when I saw him. I was like, he don't look the same. But Bryce, what you been doing? What you been doing, Bryce? Bryce used to be fine as hell back in Groove Theory. Y'all know that. 
Bryce used to be fine as hell in Groove Theory. I was like, what the hell? When they showed him on the show, I was like, Bryce, you looking like somebody granddaddy. Like, What's going on with Bryce? Bryce had the Bryce had the six pack and the and the nice little wavy hair. Like, what the hell happened to Bryce? Child. That used to be my song. I still like that song. I want you to Yes, I do. Oh, child, don't get me started. Mm, I ain't even gonna start singing this morning. But yes, honey, Bryce, that's who she's with, honey. Oh, Bryce, he was fine as hell back in the day. Mm -hmm. But she goes on to say that um, she's trying to get Kenya Moore off the show. She's saying that Kenya Moore is rude as hell to production that she has witnessed. Kenya Moore being rude to production and even raising her voice at production. And she feels like that uh, Kenya is a mean girl and she should be off the show and that they should replace Kenya Moore with Portia Williams. She did an interview, all right? Mm-hmm. I said, oh, okay, Courtney, because y'all know Courtney, child. She didn't like Kenya from the start. I think deep down she likes Kenya because she was sitting beside Kenya when they went on a little girl's trip and she decided to reach over there and touch Kenya, try to rub her arm or something. And Kenya was like, oh, don't touch me. Like, don't touch me. I think she's really, you know, I think she really do like Kenya, but I think she's a little jealous of Kenya. And she really wants to be friends with Kenya, but Kenya ain't checking for her ass like that. So now she wants Kenya ass off the show. And she's talking about Kenya is a mean girl. And when Kenya fell on that trip and hurt her, hurt her butt and had to go to the ER, she was saying that that was Kenya's karma, honey, for her being a mean girl and being a total bitch out here in these streets. I was like, girl, you was doing a little team too much. So she's saying they need to get rid of Kenya Moore, honey, and bring Portia Williams back in place of Kenya Moore. I was like, child, you are just a friend of the show. You ain't got that much pull. And why are you as a friend of the show out here doing interviews talking about the cast anyway? Because you are irrelevant. Okay? We'll give you another snap, girl. Irrelevant. Who are you? No one. I'm going to ask you again. Who are you, girl? Let me put the Deborah Cox on you. How did you get here? Because you was not supposed to be here. Courtney, that's for your ass. How did you get here? Because you weren't supposed to be here, Courtney. And your ass still ain't supposed to be here. You barely here. Because you're a friend of the show. Your ass gonna go before Kenya. Please understand that. And I ain't even no Kenya more fan like that. But I tr trust and believe me when I tell you your ass will be gone before Kenya. And that's on fine, period. Yeah. You can do all the interviews you want. Do all the interviews you want. Kenya been on the show for many, many seasons, honey. Many, many seasons. They've been trying to get rid of her ass for the longest. Portia done ripped the damn bangs out, the tore lace front back and everything. Her ass still on the show. Period. <laughs> she got them bangs snatched that way on stage. I remember at the reunion when she put that, that scepter in, in uh, Portia Williams' face. Y'all know Portia got that pop off in her. Baby, she went straight hood on her ass at that reunion and tore her damn lace front back. And she got up talking about, I want her fired now. She needs to be fired now. Shit. She done tore my bangs off on stage. They were like, all right, calm down, bitch. Now, we'll put her on a little hiatus. We ain't going to fire her because she do help bring them ratings. But you should have been doing the shit you were doing. Now, you should have got your bangs tore out because you were doing too much. Calm your ass down. So, mm-hmm. That's what her ass get though. Kenya do be pushing it and then play victim. That's why I don't like about Kenya. Let me stay on her ass just a little bit. Kenya, let me read you just a little bit. You do be playing victim. You do stuff and you do play victim a lot. And you don't feel like you deserve some of the shit that you do deserve when you be out here acting crazy. You got a little too much mouth on you. You got a smart mouth. Then when somebody put paws upon your ass, then you be looking all surprised. All right. You do. You do. You do. You absolutely do. And Portia tore your damn bangs out. And that's what you get. Do I promote violence? I do not. But some people just need some act right on them. Some people just need some act right. I mean, folding chairs? Now, you know, folding chairs, that's the thing now. She might need a folding chair to the back of the neck right quick. To bring her back to reality. You, you never know. Some people need that good old folding chair up on their ass. And it's Kenya, she look like she needs it sometimes. She do, she do. Moving on, honey. Courtney, you're not getting no more time on my show today, baby. No, you will not. No, you will not, honey, because you are obsessed. You are obsessed with Kenya Moore, honey. Maybe you want her, the way you be looking at her on the show. But uh, moving on, child. Whew, Lord. Lizzo, honey. Lizzo, honey, is about to be Dunzo. Lizzo, Lizzo might have to change her name to Dunzo. All right? I'm renaming you to Dunzo, Lizzo. 
She is facing more lawsuits and scrutiny as three more backup dancers come out, honey, to talk about the abuse that they have also received at the hands of Lizzo. This is just never going to go away. Like, damn, you already got three dancers already out, already lawyered up, coming after your ass. And now three more have come forward who were saying they were scared as hell to speak up before because they didn't want to lose their job and they were trying to be muted by Lizzo and her people, her management. So now they've got the courage to band together and lawyer up and now they're speaking out about all the things that they have experienced at the hands of Lizzo, okay? Now, as you guys know, she has lost several fans and followers behind this particular lawsuit um and with all this stuff that's come out about her most recently all right now she they said she's lost thousands of followers after her up dancers came forward okay to accuse her of several sexual harassment and misconduct uh acts among other things okay we talked about the bananas them having to be forced to eat bananas out of the jj's when they went to the little uh to the little show to the little freaky deaky show she forced her dance, backup dancers to eat bananas out of the JJ's of, you know, exotic dancers at these little, at a little, you know, whole show. I'm going to call it a whole show. Um, so since then, like I said, so three more have come out and child, they have, they moved, they moved forward with this lawsuit against her. So she is getting sued left and right. Her life right now is going down the toilet, baby. Um, so her case, baby, it's making your case look even worse that it looked when they first came out. I mean, damn Lizzo. I was pulling for you. Like Tyra Banks said, I was pulling, I was rooting for you. I was rooting for you. And I don't even know no more now. I don't even know no more now. Did she even went as far as fat shaming some of her dancers. And I was just like, really? Like really, you was feeling yourself that much. Your, your eight piece uh, KFC eating ass. And I don't even like be calling people fat. But if you fat shaming and you fat, then that just opens the door for me to be petty, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nothing against nobody that's overweight or nothing like that, but I got to go there with you, Lizzo, because it's the audacity of you to be fat shaming your dancers when you, ma'am, are overweight yourself, all right? You are one half of a cheeseburger away, bitch, from being obese. Like, no lie. If you bite a cheeseburger, your ass going to probably be on blood pressure medicine. All right, this bitch, period. On period, you cannot be calling nobody fat and fat shaming people when your ass look like you eat a buffet for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and fucking brunch. Like that's just out of order. Like the damn McDonald's ice cream fucking machine. Like that's not cool. That's not cool because you feel like you the boss and you over people and at any point in time, you can get rid of them for whatever reason you feel like it and you feel like you can just talk to people like that. I don't like people to use their position to feel like they can mistreat people. That's not cool. That's bullying. That's misuse of power. All right, let me talk to people. If you a boss out here and you talk to people like trash and you treat your people like trash, that's a form of bullying and misuse of power. Can't do that. Now your ass getting sued and you're gonna have to come up off a lot of money. You lost a gang of followers of people who loved and adored you, who now gonna be calling you a fat ass and they don't care if you get online and cry now like your ass used to do. That's crazy for somebody who's very, very soft and very sensitive about how they look and people coming for you and calling you fat and fat shaming you. Cause she's been on social media a few times crying on videos because people have called her fat. But then you turn around and call your people fat who dance for you and help you look good on stage. Girl. Mm -mm. Now you got six of your dancers coming for your coin. Yeah, that's what it's about. Their egos have been bruised. Now they're coming for your damn money. That's what it is. Now, the attorney for the dancers that's representing them, okay, they say that the dancers were scared, like I said, to come forward to file the lawsuit. He said, but their strength in numbers. So, and it is, they banded together and they've all come after her ass. And they have a very solid case from my understanding against her. And they're not backing down. They're not backing down behind this. Now, if you guys know Jay-Z was getting ready to go on tour, Lizzo was set to be a headliner on this tour. Now, the tour has been canceled. 
all right so now where lizzo like i said she was set to headline the show that's gonna mess up your bag everybody know you make your money on tour and you headlining for a tour especially for jay-z which you know is gonna be sold out every single month well every single show rally so your bag about to be all messed up you need your money girl because everybody about to dig in your pockets you about your pockets about to be like rabbit ears after these six dancers finish with your ass okay they coming they going for the jugular they going for the jugular child so since the allegations have come out like i said against lizzo her boyfriend of two years have broken up with her he wants no parts of her or the uh shenanigans that's going on around her he don't want nothing to do with that shit. he don't broke up with her and got far away from her ass he was a nice looking guy too she had a nice looking guy he was with her for two years and now he's broken up with her he ain't fooling with her and she appears to be heartbroken behind the breakup but that's the choice he made he don't want that negativity around him she's getting ready to face a lot of backlash and it's just begun it's just begun all right they ain't even started the case yet just imagine when the case starts that's when the real hoopla is gonna start that's when everything is gonna start when the case start and and, and you know some of the intricate details of the case start coming out that's when the real mess gonna hit the fan so i mean damn but lizzo she vows to fight this uh thing in court she's she vows to fight this and she's gonna she's gonna lawyer up i already told y'all she has um bill cosby's lawyer who represented him in the uh sexual allegation cases when he was in court and y'all see where that landed his ass okay so Lizzo, maybe you want to pretend to be blind when you go to court like uh, Bill Cosby. It didn't help him, but it might help you. I'm just saying. Bill went up in court trying to act like his ass was blind with that, that same attorney that your ass went out here and hired. And it landed him in jail. All right? On the first day of court, he could see. The second day of court, he could not see. And they still told him to tap his ass up and then go to court. I mean, go to jail. So we'll see what it's giving for you, sis. All right? We'll see what it's giving for you. It's, 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 I, don't, I wouldn't have chose him. I wouldn't have chose him. You made Bill Cosby go to jail. You can't represent me, bitch. I'm sorry. Yeah, no. But shout out to you, Lizzo, baby. Do what you got to do out here. Moving on, honey. Mel and her team, Melody Sharif, her team, honey, they are gearing up to be. I know Martell, honey, is home scratching and crying, honey. Because he ain't been on a trip, baby, since a trip seen him. I don't think he's been on no real vacation since he went to uh, vacation with Mel and the kids on the show to Florida. I'm serious. I don't think he's been on no real trip since then. So I don't know. I don't know, Martell. Uh, but anywho, yeah, they're gearing up to go. Mel is taking her um, her team out of the country on a trip. I think that's really nice, okay? You got to reward your people and let them know you appreciate them, okay? Y'all know Mel stay catching flights, honey, and never catching feelings. She stay in her bag and she stay going on vacation and I totally respect that. So shout out to you on that, Mel, all right? Mel went live, honey. She went live to talk about what she cooked. She talked about some baked chicken. I know Martel was like, baked chicken? I remember your baked chicken. Oh my God, it was so good. His ass sitting over there, hungry as I'm up. Home, can't even keep your neck up. This Martel over there, home. Your neck little. Martel, your neck little now. Look at that Mel live, hearing her talk about this baked chicken she done baked. That's him over there. You can't even keep your head up. Because you're hungry. See what happens when you mess up? You're going to be hungry out here. Be hungry. You can't keep your head up. You don't lost so much weight in your neck. Last bitch I showed him. I here looking like an emaciated clown. But uh, Melody went on to talk about um, this nice dinner that she cooked, honey, for the kids. She talked about how the kids, uh, how she went grocery shopping for the kids because they take lunch to school. She went down this long list of what the kids requested that they want to take to school. I was like, oh, child, they're going to be eating good in school. They take their lunch to school, honey. They bougie kids, and there ain't nothing wrong with that. They deserve it, honey. Because they stars out here. Male kids are stars. She's a star, and they stars too, honey. They are stars too, so they deserve it. So, Martel, when you pick the kids up, you need to be getting some Ariane food stamps and go, uh, Get the kids some food. Don't be telling them to eat at school because they don't want to eat at school. Melody already said they take lunch. So I'm going to need you to go get some groceries and don't be eating them either. Let them kids eat their food. I know you got no food at your house. 
See if Ariane can loan you about 10 potatoes. See if Ariane can loan you about 10 of her potatoes that she ain't cut with that butter knife yet. So the kids can have food over there when they come over there. All right? Because y'all know at one point he won't even come in to get kids, according to Mel, because he ain't had no money. He was broke. So on his week to get the kids, he couldn't come and get them because he had no money. Yeah, moving on, honey. Meanwhile, meanwhile, honey, while Mel was talking about the kids' lunch and all the food she got over there about to go on vacation, honey. Meanwhile, Martell, honey, is out here in these streets, honey, begging for cash outs, y'all. Let's talk about it. What shot? Martell, honey. Martell is out here begging for cash outs. Y'all know that? Yes, child. Y'all know Love and Marriage Huntsville is on a hiatus. We talked about it the other day. They're not filming right now. They're having them, they on a little break. So that means he ain't getting no little checky check. So, uh-huh. So you got to be sick out here, Martell. You, you got to be real sick. That you done lost every damn thing, sir. You got to be out here resorting to asking women for to seeing you catch out money. All right? You done lost everything. You done lost your job. You done lost, you ain't got no food. You ain't got no status. You ain't got no wife. You ain't got no children in the house no more. Like, you done lost it all, Martell. All for a, a bird. A bird-ass chick who can't cook that cut up potatoes with butter knives. You done lost your life over a bitch who cut potatoes with butter knives out here. I would be shamed. I would be really hurt behind that. Because you had a down-ass down wife who really loved you and looked beyond your indiscretions. Because you sure had a lot of them. You had a lot of them. She helped you graduate from school after you dropped out and dropped the money on it and everything. Took care of you. She let you stand up there and look important when you couldn't even speak publicly. She let you stand up there and get her clout with her. She took care of you. She shielded you. She protected your secrets. That's the woman you want to keep. That's the person you don't want to F up on. And you chose Ariane, a loud mouth biatch who cut potatoes with butter knives to ruin your marriage over this broad who have been on several phone calls with content creators throwing your ass under the bus telling everybody you like men that's who you broke up your marriage with. Dumbass. Now you out here begging Sheree Whitfield to send you cash apps. Yeah, I'm about to put that ass on blast. Ha 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 ha. Woo cha! It's the audacity. Yes, honey. So he has been texting Sheree Whitfield asking her to cash out him money. Did y'all know that? Oh, yes. Now, Sheree don't even follow him no more. After she made her little appearance on Love and Marriage Huntsville, and she found out that Martell done lied to her about him running behind Mel. Y'all know she done saw the show. Y'all know he sat there and lied to her. Oh, I didn't. I wasn't running behind her. After Tiffany done told her ass that Martell still running behind Mel, Martell still love himself some Mel. How do you feel knowing that Martell is still in love with Mel? Now, granted, Tiffany was wrong for sticking her nose in somebody else's business, but she wasn't lying. Martell do still love Mel. He was still running behind Mel. All right. Tasha K played played the uh, audio of Martell begging Melody to please come back and was crying on the phone. I, I played it on one of my lives. He said, Mel, please come back home. This is Martell. It was like 2 o'clock in the morning he called her ass. Mel, please come back home. This is Martell. You still my wife. You still Mrs. Hope. I still love you. Please come back home. Really? Now your ass is out here because he was real cocky when them love and marriage Huntsville chicks was coming in. You know, he, he, when he thought that Devin Keith was dating Mel, his cocky ass went online. Y'all remember? Let me refresh our memory. He went online and then told Devin Keith, oh, do I need to take up a GoFundMe for you? I might need to take up a GoFundMe for you since he was doing all this stealing in Walmart. Y'all remember? Because he had these cases coming up on his ass, but he kept getting caught stealing in Walmart. Then he going to be real cocky with the whole, oh, do we need to take up a cash app? I mean, a, a GoFundMe for you. Well, it's looking like your ass need to go fund me. And then he done took Sheree out for her birthday dinner. And Sheree had to pay for her own birthday dinner because he didn't have no money. I said, what kind of shit is this? How you ask me to go out for dinner? Tell me you're going to take me out to dinner for my birthday, bitch. And I got to pay for my own birthday dinner. What kind of shit is that? 
I said, wait a minute. You can't even leave no tip. I got a tip for your ass. Don't call me no more. How about that? Lose my damn number. Sheree done blocked his ass on, so she don't fool with Martell like that. She don't fool with Martell like that. He was real happy to be telling her, that's my friend girl. You didn't even want to claim Sheree. Now you're going to sit here and text her asking her to send your broke ass some money. You wouldn't even claim her. Now you went out in public with her because you know she had a little coin about her. And at one point, Sheree was even paying Martell a percentage of her love, uh, of her Real Housewives of Atlanta check because he was making appearances as her storyline. Y'all know that. Now the Real Housewives of Atlanta cast women done ran his ass up off the show. They don't want him over there. Because he was showing hella aggression, arguing with women, running up in people's face. Y'all saw him going back and forth with Kenya Moore. Now, Sheree, honey, was trying to say, oh, I never said Martell was my man. Lies. You done got on national television and embarrassed yourself with Martell and let him play you to the left, right, up, side, down, and everywhere else. Yes, you did. Now he texting you asking for money. I wouldn't send his ass a dime. Go out here and get a job. I don't know why he's so allergic to jobs. He don't want to work no job. You are, you are a grown ass man with five kids and you don't want to get no job but you gonna sit here and ask another woman who got kids and bills of her own, who probably scratching and surviving too, cause Sheree's only claim to fame is Real Housewives of Atlanta. She ain't selling no she by Sheree. The only person I ever seen wearing she by Sheree was her. And now her grandbaby, cause she done started a kids line for she by Sheree. I ain't seen nobody wearing the shit but her, which tells me you ain't selling none. So the audacity of you to let Martell Hope with his lame ass be trying to play you like that and begging you for money, he probably asked other women too. Belinda was at one point in time helping him. She done cut him off and unfollowed him because she see he ain't nothing but a damn user. Martell is a user, just like he used Mel and wanted to take all the damn credit. And that's the only reason why he hate Melody like he does is because he's got to sit back and watch her winning while he's losing, while he don't put out a disclaimer that he was the reason why she was where she was. He took all the credit. I'm the reason she went to church. Bitch, her mama was a first lady. So you don't think her mama, Miss Van, shout out to her if she's watching my show because she does watch my show. Miss Van was a first lady, so you don't think she had her daughter in church before she even knew you Martell. Melody grew up in church. So how is it that you were the, that you take the credit for uh, her even going to church? Like stop it. Everybody see through your lies. You made her, I, I'm the one that helped her not become a school teacher anymore. Boy, she paid for your ass to go back to college. Your broke ass dropped out of school. She started a property preservation uh, business that you were able to reap benefits from and survive from. Melody was the brains behind everything and we know that now because look at you and where you are. This girl is still hitting the ground running, still making waves, still, with, still out here with lucrative businesses and doing well. While you sitting back hating and trying to still turn people against her because it hurts you to see that she's making it without you. She's eating good. She's steady catching flights. Her children are prosperous and doing well. And you sitting out here dropping weight, looking crazy, and got a result to asking women for money to survive. Martell is the poster boy for karma. Do you hear me? When you do people wrong who have bent over backwards, to help you and be there for you and give you a life better than the life you've ever had in your life and you mess up like that? Melody was a blessing to Martell and he see that now and it bothers him. So you just out here running around with all these women and, and you got women trying to take care of you because you can't do it for yourself. You looking for a mama out here. That's gotta be embarrassing. How would we know that, that you are uh, asking Sheree for money and cash apps? She must have leaked it. Because if it's a conversation just between you and her, 
How would everybody on social media now know that? That's so crazy. Sheree is about a coin. She about making a coin, not giving it away. Not giving it away. So the fact that you wouldn't even claim her, but you got time to be texting her and asking her to send you some money. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. You don't ask me to go out here and get a job. You need a job, Martell. You out here claiming you made everybody else, but you still ain't made yourself going on three years after Melody divorced your ass. You still are not able to rebuild yourself. You out here panhandling, panhandling your hoes. I got to say it like that. You panhandling your hoes. Seth. And the famous words of Beyonce, it sucks to be you right now. It does. It sucks to be you right now. It does. All right, so let's go ahead and do this update on Stormy. Y'all know her day in court was on Wednesday. Well, on yet? Was it yesterday? Wednesday or yesterday? Okay. Shout out to Black Titanic. All right. She did give us permission to talk about it. Shout out to her. Um, Courtney did not. I mean, not Courtney, but Stormy did not show up in court. But she did reach out to the courts prior to the day of court to settle her case. Now, she has two people suing her. All right. Canvas Beauty is being sued. For that particular case, she actually had her attorney. She didn't show up in court because you know she has an open warrant with Black Titanic. Black Titanic was actually there at court. She said she sat there and waited to see what Stormy come in. Stormy did not show up, but she did have her attorneys come and negotiate. She had to pay $12,000 to settle with said company, okay, that was suing her because she owed them money for where they supposed to be like transporting her products. She wasn't paying them, so they chose to sue her. Black Titanic, like I said, was there. She did confirm that Stormy did not show up in court, but she did have her um, attorneys come and settle the case prior to that. Now, First National Bank is also suing Stormy as well. So she's got to come back to court for that particular lawsuit as well. So you just finished that lawsuit, had to pay 12K, which conveniently you had after you had your little pastor party we talked about. The party at the pastors is convenient that you went and paid this 12K out of the blue that you said that you took up for a fundraiser for the kids to be able to go back to school. Uh-huh, because we know Stormy, like I said yesterday, you've been having money problems. You've been having a lot of money problems, sis. So you had that 12K to pay so your ass didn't go to court. And she wasn't about to show up in there because she knew her ass was going to be locked the hell up. She might, she ain't going to show up in there. She was smart enough to know not to take her ass up in there. Now, they said that Courtney, his ass had to drive to New York to take... Uh, the product and go deliver that because they done messed up business with the company that was suing them that was actually delivering their products to the companies that they were shipping to. So they can't use them no more because they won't pay them. So now they got to put gas in their car and drive to all these places to make their own deliveries for these companies that uh, is buying from Cam's Beauty, allegedly. So she avoided showing up to court. So that ass don't be locked up because she still got that active one. They're going to catch up to you, though. That's the thing about warrants. Warrants don't go away. They don't expire. So you can get pulled over on the side of the road one day for a broken taillight and they run your name and boom, you going to jail. That's how that shit works. So keep thinking that you can keep ducking and dive, ducking and dodging the police. You're going to get you're going to get caught real soon here. So shout out to Black Titanic, honey, for being for doing your good footwork and showing up at the coat house down at the Madison County Courthouse, baby. Um, looking for old, looking for old uh, Stormy. Stormy knew not to show her ass up to court. Okay, she knew. She done been in jail before. She know what it is. Mm-hmm. She know what it is. So shout out to you, honey, Black Titanic, for that news, baby. Because we sure could use that news. Let's back it in here. Ooh, we're going to finish this up. I'm a good back upper. <laughs> Let's pull it up a little bit though. Mm -mm -mm. Thank y'all for being so patient with me this morning, child. Mm -mm. All right. All right. So let's finish this right quick. All right. So 
Like I said, Stormy is also being sued by First National Bank, you guys, for defaulting on a loan with them, all right? So that court case has been continued to a later date, all right? So there, And as we get that information on that, um, me and every other content creator that follow this uh, particular situation, we will um, give you guys updates on that, all right? So um, like I said, Stormy was sued by that company, and she did show up and pay that 12 k to settle so that she would not have to appear in court, all right? So yeah. So that's what that's given. So she did not show up to court. For those of you that wanted an update on that, okay? Um, and then two, Melody Cherie and Kimmy, you guys, they landed a um, spot on the cover of Essence magazine, which I thought was very nice as well. Um, Melody looks so good. Um, they used some of her looks also from Jay Bolin for some of the pictures I saw. Kimmy, she looked great as well. Whoever did her makeup and hair, she looked very, very good on the cover. So I got to give a shout out to them. Um, they're saying the Essence and own. They were doing um, like a five-part docu-series, and they were looking back at like the 50 years of Essence, big, Essence's biggest moments, okay? So they chose to use Melody Cherie, so shout out to her, as well as Kimmy for the cover. Tisha was not there. Tisha did not have a cover, okay? Maybe they didn't want to cover the Thick Tongue Chronicles just yet, so Tisha was not invited for the Essence magazine cover. They only had Mel and um, Kimmy, okay? So, yes, it was 50 years of Essence's biggest moments. And, uh, yes, I don't know what biggest moments Kimmy really had, but I hope it won't marry uh, Maurice Child, but Child. But that's all we got for them. So, but shout out to them. Shout out to Mel for landing that cover, and shout out to Kimmy. I'll go ahead and give her her props, too, because both women did look beautiful, but uh, Tisha was not there, okay? Uh, and somebody said, and Miss Van, shout out to Miss Van as well. Um, and she's watching my show. Shout out to you, Miss Van. The ladies look really beautiful. Whoever did their makeup and hair, they were really on point. They look really, really nice for the uh, cover. But uh, somebody said for her cancer, we'll give her that. Yeah, she did overcome cancer. So we will give her that. She That, that was something great. Hopefully it was nothing to do with Maurice and his 200 um, or his 145 credit score. Okay. Yeah. But uh, anywho, child, y'all know I'm petty as hell. Anywho and anyway, that is our show for the day. Thank you guys so much for joining. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. Please hit the like button. We got 794 in the building, 376 likes. Thank you guys for being here, whether you're in the bushes or not. Thank you, Moz, for keeping the trolling down. Thank you, for care Thank you, Care Marylians, for being here and supporting the channel. Thank you um, for any content creators who um, are either here in the chat or in the bushes, okay? Thank you all for being here. Uh, let's get on out of here. I'm going to try to go live um, later on, you guys, um, and do probably a, a little pop-in, okay? So, you guys have a great day. Don't let nobody stress you out. Love you guys all the way that way, and goodbye. Oh, also subscribe to this channel, okay? If you did not get to do that, go ahead and subscribe as well, okay? Because y'all know we keep the news that you can use. All right, love you guys all the way that way, and goodbye.